So this is your first exercise, and that is just, um, this is at when your supplies come in. Um, note that I, I always keep scrap paper around to do this. Um, if you have, you know, if you're working on Bristol board, Bristol board is so valuable that I, I always save all of it because you can always um, draw over it and play with it. Um, so what we are trying to do in this exercise is just explore your supplies, right? Um, now, uh, there's been a lot of questions about these. These are nib holders. I think that this is the one that I asked you to buy um, and it's been sold out. Uh, but the only reason I like this one is because it's wood and it has a little rubber grip, right? Here's another wooden one. Um, and I made my own grip with gaff tape. Um, I really like this one. If you can get um, in your supplies, if you can get the, the nibs that I asked for, um, that would be amazing because the, the Japanese nibs are so much different than speedball nibs. They're incredible. Um, so these are the Japanese nibs and I, I never change them. I just clean them. Um, but if you have to get speedball stuff, um, it kind of, speedball kind of sucks because the pen holders are plastic and the nibs aren't as good as the Japanese nibs. So, so that's, so that is the first thing to note before we start. Um, and the other thing that I, that I want to mention, I didn't mention this in my supplies video, is this pen. This is called the Pilot Precise and I get the V7 rolling ball. Um, now this pen is just, uh, gosh, it is incredible. It costs about $3, but the point of it is that the ink is waterproof, right? So that means that um, when you draw with it, you can draw directly over your pencil, then you can take your eraser and you can erase um, all the pencil lines and you'll have this beautiful smudge free ink, right? Um, now the other thing about the Pilot Precise line is it has, if you see the tip is kind of like a little tube and then it has a ball inside of it, that is the exact same design of this really expensive um, German pen called the Rapidograph. Now, almost everyone, uh, all the artists that I know that do illustration work with pen and ink, one of the first things you have to do is invest in, in a Rapidograph set. And believe it or not, one Rapidograph pen will cost you like $70 or $80. It has all of this crafting stuff. You have to pull out the nib and clean it a certain way. And, you know, you have to have all these, these solvents and chemicals for cleaning it. Um... I found one at a garage sale that was unused, and I used it for a while, and I hated it. So um, if you look at this, at the tip, if you have a Rapidograph and you compare it to this pen, the tip is exactly the same. It is exactly the same thing, and the ink is waterproof. Um, this, uh, If I um, had anything, any kind of pen, I would take the Pilot Precise Rolling Ball. It's just wonderful. So I'll add that to my supplies list. Um, Sharpies are fun to draw with too. So the basic, your basic concept for your first, um, oh, and let me show you another really weird elite um, thing that you can get. Um, I had them get this at the COCC bookstore. So you'll see this is called a Noodler um, brush pen and it's transparent and it's got this little screw and so you can you can take out the top like this and suck up ink so um so if you just stop by the cocc bookstore you'll see they have a big stock of these and these are amazing so i'm i make sort of watered down inks and i use these for fill um kind of in my in my comic stuff and um, this is, this is incredible. It's really good, but you have to remember that you have to use non waterproof ink in here. You can't use Yasutomo. You have to use, um, you have to use something like fountain pen ink or, um, noodler's ink, which is also at the bookstore. So, um, let me see. I think, 
I was so those are some alternative supplies that you can pick up and I think that I will talk about the first um, technical assignment in the next video but I just wanted to show you those and alert you to them because um, I'm having so many questions about supplies um, yeah uh, yeah I think that's about it <laughs>